Welcome to Jamaica, paradise of beaches and river, vibrant people and culture, but most importantly, land of box food and water. Well going guys, my name is Kay, welcome back to another video. For the next two days, we are going to be food critics, but not just any food critics, Jamaican box food critics. Today I'm here with Brit and we're visiting 10 box food restaurants and we're rating them on a scale of 1 to 10 based on presentation and taste. So we want to have a mixture of restaurants, not just for me but for you guys. We want to show you the different places you can go to here in Mobe for box food because I know that's definitely a problem for me when I'm trying to find somewhere to get a good Jamaican box lunch. So we're going to places in town, we're going to communities and neighborhoods in Mobe as well as commercial spaces such as the shopping mall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright guys, so our first stop is Sunrise Catering at Witter Village in Ironshore. This is a restaurant I've been to a few times. Guess who we just ran into? <laughs> <laughs> just ran into Chris, so Chris is going to come along with us on the Jamaican box food tour. Chris, I'm the first to come along on this journey because Chris, guys, Chris is a foodie. I'm addicted to curry chicken. So if I'm going to buy box food, I want curry gravy. And they told me that I can't get curry gravy unless I buy curry chicken or curry goat. That's crazy. Our box food is I give it an 8. Why? I give it an 8. What did I say? I'm um, 7. 7? But it looks really good. The pork, it's not as juicy as it looks. Right, it's a little <laughs> bit chewy. It's a little, yeah, it's strawny. Mm -hmm. You can taste the coconut milk in there. Rice and peas, yeah, that's right. for sure. The rice tastes good. Pots butter in the rice? No, she put hot sauce. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yeah, the rice is good. I can get that. A, a nine. nine. Yeah. Yeah, the rice gets a nine. For me, the pork gets a six. The looks are deceiving. I thought it was gonna be juicier, you know? No man, rice tastes good. The, rice, nice. the score could have been higher if it weren't for the pork, but overall, we gave Sunrise Catering a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Alrighty peeps, we are in Baba Joe's restaurant, popular in Flanco, a community that is literally five minutes away from where we're just coming from. So Baba Joe is really popular for bus drivers, taxi drivers, people who work at the airport, they sell a neighboring communities and they sell affordable meals. Yes. They must subscribe here. Yeah? Here friend? They must subscribe. Okay. Okay, okay, thanks. Alright, the artist named Fire Kid. It's spelled P H Y R E. Kids spell K I D D. What kind of music in it's this? Culture music. Okay. Please. Alright. And follow. Alright, thanks. Yeah, man. This location is much uh, more affordable than the last one that we went to as well. It used to be $100 when I was in prep school. You could have got a mini food for $100. Who remember those days? Baba Joe food is good man and you never come here and get a different taste every day you come I see same taste 1997 coming all the way up no ah. love and respect and I come you. every day actually every day remember if you know that Baba Joe food is like grandma cooking and nobody cooking is better than grandma all right so the chicken is really good the rice is all Eight and a half. That's a solid eight and a half for Baba Joe restaurant and now we're on to the next. Tranquility was a popular restaurant on St. James Street. But when we got there we found out it was closed. So we went over to the next hot spot in town. Phoenix, which is on Union Street. And this one I used to come to, well me and Brittany used to come to this one in high school a lot. I used to come here after school. 
school used to finish. High school what? 2.30, 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Right after school I used to come to Phoenix. And I would get my fried chicken with curd gravy. And I would take it home and eat it actually. Because yeah, never usually yeah. sit down in it. The restaurants, the, they have a dining area but it's not very big. And, and you can get to eat it the way you want to eat it. Exactly. So it was the same for me. I would just come here, get the food and it was like a nice after school, after school meal. Yeah, I'll give it a six. You hear why you get a nine Because you can't see the rest. Because you can't see the rest. Because the box full. Not bad. Could be better. Yeah. The skin on this one is really crunchy. And remind me of the typical Jamaican cook shop. Yeah, seven. Seven. Phoenix got some room for improvement. Overall, they get a seven out of ten. And that is Phoenix. To note for those who aren't familiar with Jamaican box food lunch, that's usually what's in the food. Rice, chicken, pork. You can get fish too and uh, usually comes with a side of vegetable or pasta. Some say jerk center, some say Miss Follies, but the name on the restaurant says local tradition. I asked if I should visit the one next to the hospital or the one next to the gas station. 90% of people said this one is better. I don't like it. I like it. It's nice. That's the one. That's the one. That's right there. That's, that's the one right there. 10 out of 10 for this food. And that was our first perfect score today at Miss Polly's restaurant in Mount Salem. Megamart, it's a supermarket and they have a food court in here. It's easily accessible too. It might be a little more expensive than other places. It's clean and it's spacious. Presentation I give a 10 out of 10. Yeah, first you get 10. I think the fries are overdone. A bit yeah, tough. Yeah. The onions and the peppers mask the rawness of the fish, but it tastes better with it. Yeah, the vegetables with the fish, masked, right? I've had the fish better than this before. Overall, I give the meal a, I give it a 6 out of 10. I've had other meals here before and it's good. And I still think it's a good place for you to come to the food court to come for lunch because they have much more options other than this. I've had the lunch here. It really pains me to give the food court a 6 as on any other day I know I'd probably rate them an 8 or 9. This is one of my preferred restaurants but in all honesty that was today's true rating. upstairs but you can dine outside i've had food here before not my favorite but it is one of the popular spots so people in montego they tend to like coming here it's clean yeah it's a cool spot it doesn't taste like the chinese sweet and sour chicken definitely more a jamaican a jamaican sweet and sour chicken i give it a seven out of ten guys so that was day one of our jamaican box food tour it's been good so far i would say the top for today for me is the one at mount salem miss polly's where we had that curried goat and rice and peas that was ugh, the curry was so good my top pick for today is definitely the one in mount salem as well but we still have four restaurants remaining still got some hot spots to go to so we are now headed back home and we'll see you for the rest of the tour bye
Hi guys, we are back on the second day of our box food tour and guess who I'm with today? Guess who I'm with today? The girl! <laughs> I'm with Christina and Brittany and we are finishing up the second day by visiting four restaurants. See, and Brittany are of course our food critiques. You don't realize that food vlog alone in company? Where there is food, there is Brittany and Chrissy. Sell ice cream as well. Thank you. Box food was what? $150. Do you value the art of box food? Box food? Because it's <laughs> an it's an art. You know that, right? They give me curry gravy with curry mutton in it. You when them drop a piece of yeah. So yeah. You, know, you know what? No dry. It says a lot. Alone. Okay, story time. When I used to attend Mount Alvernia, during lunchtime it was always a rush. Them never usually give curd gravy. To get curd gravy, lunchtime at Alvi was a it was a blessing. Fact. She gave me box food with curd gravy. You think anybody else gonna get box food and curd gravy? But me, Gianna, Dina so K, Shailia, because we were very polite. No. Miss James. James. Hello, Miss James. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm great. Can I have fried chicken with a little curd gravy? Oh, sure, my darling. Love the veg. I can taste the vinaigrette that they put on it. It stays on your tongue once you, you bite into it. I seven. The luxury lunch, two thousand five hundred dollar off sale. If you can buy that in a Jamaica, you're rich. So good that we had to take a picture with the chef. I'll give you 10 nine. Solid 9 out of 10 for Ari House restaurant. It was my first time there, but certainly won't be my last. Now, I don't want to brag too much about the final restaurant, but it's one of my favorites. This one, it's so good that it only opens at night. <laughs> Hint, it's located in a community we that we visited before. Another hint, he was at the front of the line when God was giving gifts and how to make fried <laughs> Our 10th and final restaurant for our two-day box food tour. This is Marky's restaurant. It opens in the evening time and serve fish, fried dumpling, kalaloo, salt fish. And separate for that one, yeah. 
Kingfish. Yeah, me have kingfish and bunnies and grunts and. Right, thank you. Keep it chill. Thank you. Every time I buy it, it gets it gets better and better. Dumpling, my favorite of the whole meal. Not at 10. Pinkfish. The vinegar, stand up in it. Well seasoned, well prepared. The skin is crunchy. The inside is soft and moist. My favorite. Ten out of ten. This, the fish seasoned enough? I don't like my color low well cooked. I kind of mm -hmm. like it yeah. on the crunchy side. That's why I said the texture is my favorite. Like That's the texture. only thing. There's a dumpling with the fish, guys. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. I like that dumpling here. Magnifique. I'm going to take this home. I'm sorry, guys. This is the only one I have to take home. Actually, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> You get the oxtail. Guys, out of the 10 food we bought between the two days, I gave away about seven. The one here I'll come home. Sorry, homeless man. This one's coming home with me. I mean, I'll give you another one. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have one of those? Hey, no, no. I'm a fire song. Boy, what Watch the style big split fully chip and we read. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Ding ding ding. ding.